2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E first test, faster horses. Never mind the name or how it looks, here's how the Ford Mustang Mach-E Ev did at our test track. At last, we've tested the 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E electric SUV, and it's better than we expected. Our test subject was an all-wheel drive, one electric motor at each axle, premium trim model with the extended range battery option and a coat of fancy red paint. This SUV's price starts at $46,695 and stood at $56,200 as tested. We rolled it onto our scales and, good grief, it weighed 4,807 pounds with a slight, 49.51 percent rear bias. For reference, a three-row Ford Explorer XLT weighs 4,367 pounds. 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E, Wild Horse. With its battery showing a 94% charge and our satellite data acquisition gear strapped down, the Mach-E crossed the parking lot to the drag strip. As is almost always the case with electric vehicles, the Mach-E's first pass was its quickest. There's no battery preconditioning step, nor is there any sort of launch control. Just slap and go, Associated Road Test Editor Eric Ayupan has advised. In other words, simultaneously remove your foot from the brake pedal and abruptly introduce the accelerator to the firewall. The sprint to 30 miles per hour is a good indication of how well a vehicle launches off the line and anything under 2.0 seconds is considered quick. The Mach ES 1.9 second dash means it's only a tenth behind a 503 HP BMW X3 M competition and Tesla Model Y dual motor long range. 2021 Ford Mustang Mach E, Derby Days. Credit the Mach ES 2 electric motor's maximum combined torque output of 428 lbft for its initial thrust. That's a really healthy amount of twist, too. In fact, it's 18 lbft more than the 5.0 liter V8 in the Ford F-150 makes. Physics, however, begins to take over as the task of maintaining the 4,800 pound SUV's acceleration becomes that of the motor's 346 combined HP, each of which has to propel 13.9 pounds of Mach-E down the drag strip. Compare that to the 2020 Tesla Model Y long range's 11.3 pound per pony figure. The Mach-E reached 60 miles per hour in an impressive 4.8 seconds, precisely 0.7 second behind the 384 HP Tesla's 4.1 second time. The gap widened to 1.0 second at the quarter mile finish line where the Tesla crossed in 12.4 seconds at 114.8 miles per hour and the Ford in 13.4 ticks at 103.5 miles per hour. As drag racers will tell you, that 11 miles per hour difference in trap speed really reveals the Mach E's power deficit to the Model Y. 2021 Ford Mustang Mach E, rain in those horses. Good bite and great feel from the brakes and tires, was how Ayupana described the Mach E's braking performance. The nose dips a little, but not like some other SUVs. Fairly consistent results, with negligible fade after four runs from 60 miles per hour. In order, 110, 109, 111, 114 feet. Compared to the Model Y's numb pedal and 118 foot best stop from 60 miles per hour, the Ford trounces the Tesla when feet matter. Motor Trend developed and continues to utilize what we like to call a racetrack in a bottle to analyze every combination of acceleration, braking, and cornering a vehicle can experience. If you can imagine driving as quickly as possible around our figure 8 course, two 200-foot diameter circles separated by 500 feet at their centers, then you'll understand why it's such a valuable and concise test. Just how well can a car accelerate off a corner? How effective and consistent are its brakes? Does the car turn into a corner crisply or begrudgingly? What's the car's natural state in steady-state cornering? Repeat and see if the car's tires begin to give up. Here are my notes from the figure 8 on the day we tested it, wow, I was not expecting this. While it's not particularly quick, it is a whole lot of fun.
excellent balance between understeer and oversteer on the skid pad. It just sort of digs in and goes around in both directions. Sure, I can feel the weight, but it's very well managed with very little body motion. Steering is a little springy but has a quick ratio and maintains precision. Then the Mach E does a little controlled drift out of the corner. Cool. I can tell it could go quicker still because there's no stability control defeat button and it's limiting power off the corners, but good for Ford for baking this in. Once the wheel is straight, you get full beans. Braking is strong and predictable, but I overdid it once, got wide of the line, then found drop throttle oversteer to get me back. Nice, and I carried that oversteer around the skid pad. It wasn't the fastest lap, which is a tight and tidy one, but it was an unexpectedly fun lap.